What would humans be without free will? Fully fledged sheeple? Bye bye. Well, researchers in Australia have completed a study that reveals just how easy it is for AI, artificial intelligence, to hack human decision making. What truth? That you are a slave, Neil. The Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, Data61, pitted participants against an AI system called a recurrent neural network in three experiments. Skipping the rest of the sciencey stuff, they basically found that this AI excelled at leading participants towards making specific decisions, influencing their behavior, and even tricking them into making mistakes. The best slash worst bit about the study, the participants didn't have a clue that they were being taken for a ride by a computer. We're not cheap. We're, We're not lines. cheap. We're not cheap. Just imagine what this could mean for the future. It'll be like now, only worse. We already know that tech giants are monitoring our every click and turning them into dollars. They can even turn clicks into votes if they feel like it. When Alexander Nix told the parliamentary inquiry on fake news that Cambridge Analytica has never used Facebook data. If you're collecting data on people and you're profiling them, that gives you more insight that you can use to know how to segment the population to give them messaging about issues that they care about. The company itself was founded on using Facebook data. So next time you order that burger off Deliveroo because a notification just popped up or by the hat that Facebook has been bombarding you with adverts for since last week, ask yourself, was that really my choice? And you won't know the answer because we're basically like monkeys that pay tax. People don't want to hear this message that they are hackable animals, that their choices, their desires, their understanding of who am I, what is my most authentic uh, aspirations, this can actually be hacked and manipulated. Side note, some deep thinkers already think that free will is a myth and that homo sapiens are simply slaves to biochemical changes happening in their meat suits. That's for another video.